Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 6th episode of Sobayaki Kitsune no Senko-san. Now, last episode, we were introduced to a new character named Shiro. You know, another fox girl to come make people's lives infinitely better. And she went to the same person as uh, Senko did, so... Yeah, I th guess his life became double infinitely better, because life is not fair like that. So, yeah, I'd say the, the amount of jealousy probably went up another tier with that episode. You know, between that double Kitsune action and the very pleasant bath scene later on. Yeah, I don't think my jealousy could get much higher than I think it kind of peaked there, but I guess we'll see if it can continue to go up. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into the episode and see if that's the case. Three, two, one, play. And after our Katakawa and the uh, animation logos and all that stuff. Guys, gotta get those, of course. It, oh, wow, she came over to her house. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, it was an accident. That's okay, that's okay. Stay. It's, it, she left. <laughs> why, don't I, why, don't I, why don't I have good hallucinations like that? Is the, please tell me it's the same place. Oh. I was really hoping she went to the same place by accident twice. That would have been something. <laughs> you don't want you don't want some uh, unregulated fluffing. <laughs> well not gonna pay attention to you unless you let me fluff your tail. Don't know what to tell you. Yeah, he doesn't get a lot of chances to rest, so <laughs> give him a break. I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> They'll probably be better at them than Senko. I, I, she could probably handle it. She seems like a... She seems like she'd be good at anything to put, she puts her mind to. I'm glad Shido's still relevant. She is just such a beautiful fox girl. Such a weird opening. <laughs> And then he gets that legendary lap pillow. Now she's stuck in there. You just want to fluff more. Well, title's not wrong. What are we playing? Legend of Zelda Fox Girl Edition, because I want to know where I can get that. That could be pretty fun. You know, until they're censored to death. I told you she could do it. <laughs> she's doesn't... She's, she's more modern than you, Senko. <laughs> Getting called out. Well, I should hope so. Okay. <laughs> A lot of Fox-themed games there. Uh. Well, yeah, I was about to say, do you have time for the, all these games? Super! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's great. That's actually <laughs> super fluff for this melee. Oh, God. <laughs> that may be the best title of anything I've ever heard. Just scoot it on over there. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's got to be pretty nice. Not for you, for him. Yeah, of course, the head's right in front of you. You gotta, gotta get into petting mode. Oh, I would so please you, Shiro. Ouch. <laughs> Not breaking the rules. <laughs> Oof. Ow. <laughs> well, yeah. Good job. I mean, I, I think this is about as good as it gets. Playing video games with a cute fox girl that is sitting on your lap as you play with her. I don't think it get much better than that. I was wrong, we got snacks, okay. Not not the best snacks, but it's the thought that counts. Ow! <laughs> Ow. I got hit in the face with a fluffy tail. Of course I'm okay, I'm more than okay. I'll take another, please. So is it any good? Got a little bit of stuff on your face. <laughs> uh, the tail is so active. You can tell she's happy because she's moving her... Her tail around and has that face. I mean, that face says it all. I seriously. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> this is nice. This is very nice. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Please keep it in your tail. I could watch that all day. You want to trade families? <laughs> Why not? Anyway, back to video games. <laughs> sure, you can have half. They force all of it, just take all of it. What was that? Oh, an offer. I mean, it makes sense, I suppose. I think that's okay. Definitely. Oh, I think she's got her game face on now. Yeah, which is what I was thinking. Yeah, he hasn't had a lot of time to play, so you should be about even, more or less. <laughs> I guess he's taking it seriously, too. Yeah, back in the day, I bet he was pretty good. Plus? Wow, I guess he does really want that Ohagi. <laughs> okay. Not sure whose character I like better. They're both really good. Probably Shiro's. Hopefully she doesn't cheat or anything. I don't think it's going well for Kuroto, whatever his name is. I'm trying to remember his name, but I just care so little, you know. Maki one. That's a shame. Not as good as you thought you were, were you? <laughs> she just crawled on over there to give a head pat. That was kind of nice. Oh, is that what that was? Then that, that that's definitely cheated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we didn't establish it as not allowed, I guess it's technically not against the rules. You think you're so cute, Shiro, and you're right. <laughs> well, there you go. Better luck next time. Uh. What? Oh, you're gonna make more? 
Okay. You're you're a good girl too, Psycho. I may like Shiro better, but I still like you a lot as well. <laughs> it's not fair that she just wiggles her tail like that. I'd probably let her do anything if she wiggled her tail like that at me enough. <laughs> Come on, Shiro, let him have something. <laughs> Uh, I'm really enjoying this scene. It's, it's pretty great. Somebody made a comment about being like a family, and I, I, I'm starting to feel that. <laughs> yeah, I hope she doesn't use her mind eye to see that I'm going to do that. That's so mean. <laughs> Seems like it. Winner, Maki! Who could have seen that coming? Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Kurata. <laughs> Do you have to leave? Yeah, when are you gonna move over there? I remember. That was funny. And I'm starting to believe we're going to move into that direction, so hurry up and just become her her roommates, her wife. I mean, she still thinks it's a hallucination, so we got to get past that. If she's the helpful, if Senko's the helpful fox, what kind of fox is, you know, the uh, sneaky fox? The fox that eats all your stuff? The fox that beats you up in video games. Why do you always look so busy and tired? Good job. I bet. Bet you wish you had a fox girl though, huh? Because that may change. Is that is a hallucination that keeps coming to your house? Oh, no, that's Senko. <laughs> you can't have her. You gotta get your own fox girl, and that's Shiro. <laughs> uh, I would do it anyway. Yeah, she's not a hallucination. You know, the beautiful fox girl that came through your wall? I really do love her outfit. Or just her overall character design. <laughs> I just love it so much. I finally figured it out. By all means, come on in. Well, I mean, the place isn't as clean as it could be, but it's not as bad as it could be. Oh, okay, maybe it's a little bit worse than I thought, but still, it could be worse. <laughs> I love how it shows her chest when her stomach's growling. Because, you know, it's close enough. So now, okay, I think I see what we're doing here. We're giving her a taste of what it's like to have a fox girl in her home, and that will make her more accepting of having Shiro be her new, her new roommate. So I, I gotcha, I gotcha. I mean, you can burn everything, you'd be trying hard enough, you got Foxfire, right? You could probably burn anything. I guess that's the word for it. A young cosplaying girl that lives with your neighbor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gotta love that legal lolly, huh? Yeah, you'd think if we didn't know better. Yeah, that manga thing I've heard so much about. Well, yeah, because she 
not too familiar with modern human society. And I guess we're going to speed it up with magic. Manga designs are what the one book said. Yeah, like when she floats things around my room. I mean, the bad person couldn't possibly make such good food, so we know she's a good person. Ooh, results. That's much better. But if you had your own Fox Girl, your room could look like this all the time. Although, to be honest, I wouldn't expect Shiro to, it, to be quite as uh, skilled in this regard as Senko, or at the very least willing. But still. But she does what Fox Girls do. You know, I'll make my room dirty if it'll get you to come over. Oh, that's sick. That, uh, piece of that poster? What? Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna make her cosplay. I think. Are you gonna put her in a maid outfit? Because that could be something, that's kind of something I wanted to see. We're on the same wavelength. <laughs> put it on. It does look to be about, be about her size, so. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Come on, Psycho, put it on. But you're cosplaying right now. That was your that was your story. <laughs> yeah, try a different cosplay for once. I'm sure that's true. Come on, Senko. Yeah, we're we're, we're burning her down. Yep, think we got her. Think we got her. So, got my screenshot button ready. Show me, show me, Senko. That's the back. We got a little peek of it, but not quite there yet. And uh, there she is. Yes. Yes. Good job, Senko. Here we go. Finally, a full body shot. Even got the tail kind of, kind of got the little tail sticking out of the back. It's oh, wow. That's a great shot. <laughs> well, then, I think. <laughs> Is anybody else getting Wata 10 flashbacks? <laughs> Man, she took some good shots. Just, uh, you know, be sure to send that to me. Send all them to me. Oh. Yes. Please weather around the house from now on. Yeah, so at least I could do it all for you, some made cosplay outfit, you know? It benefits the both of us, as well as your husband, so... I think this is for the best. <laughs> Please do. Whew. Well, that was fun. <laughs> She's just little little cosplay fox girl. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I... Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> you know what? I I think we just met the most relatable character in the show. Well, if the story goes the way I think it will, I hope it will, then you might just get your wish. But anyway, again, we're pretty much on the same wavelength. Well, I bet you weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's a bit too much to take in. Well, whose fault is that? Why would you run away from that? That's literally the opposite of what I would do. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> well, then what's the problem? <laughs> And I just walk to the door. She's not wrong. <laughs> that was the word that got her. Culprit? Why would you say it in a negative fashion? We decided not to ask that question. That's the official answer. 
How could you forget that? It's your, like only defining characteristic. And I'm sure it's great. Ooh. Well, I probably would look really good on Senko, but I'm okay with the main stuff as well. Yeah, I should hope so. I know I am. D debatable. I could get used to this as a new look. <laughs> I guess I kind of get what he's saying there, but I don't think I agree. <laughs> Coming back home, do a fox girl and a maid outfit is all I've ever wanted in life. I can only imagine what that's like. Yeah, her normal clothes are very good as well, but I just I just gotten used to them, so. Yeah, what will you do when she leaves you for another master? <laughs> That's all he wants in life, just to fluff as much as he can. Are we being watched? <laughs> do, you, do you approve of the outfit? <laughs> yes, they are. Maybe you should go live with the person that made them. Actually, I don't remember. She, I don't remember if they said she made it, but she had it. So, the person that gave it to her, I guess I should, I should say. But yeah, I do think we are building up to that. I think they dropped enough hints that she's going to live with Koenji, Koenji that I I am pretty confident now. I'm up to like seventy five percent sure that's going where it's going. I mean, just some of the things she said, especially. It's like how jealous she was that uh, Senko lives with uh, Kodoto. How she wants one of her own. I mean, that's some pretty heavy foreshadowing. And now she knows she's not a hallucination, so next time she sees her, she can be like, hey, come on in. I, I got snacks. You want to stay forever? She can do that. There actually wasn't very much tail fluffing in the episode, but that's okay. We had Senko cosplay instead, and here's our Super Senko Sun time. Oh, Shiro Sama time. Okay, I'll turn the volume up for this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shiro. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Glad to have you. Oh. You look fantastic. Yes, you look amazing. Okay, you look like the best creature in existence. Yes. I thank you for praising me. I love you, Shiro. Oh, Senko, you're here too. Yes, I would love some. <laughs> yeah. That, that kind of thing does kind of suit Senko better. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, Shino. I love you more, so... You could calm down. No, it's okay. She, I want to hear her talk. I don't care what she says, as long as she talks. Okay, but please go easy on me. I can only lose so many times in a row before my confidence is shot, so... I will, but... I make sure each of you sleeps on one side of me, and I'll sleep just fine. So, as long as you have that established, and then it ended. And then it ended again. Why does the show keep doing that? Anyway, that was the sixth episode of Sebayaki Kitsune no Senko-san. And uh, this time, what was our first thing? Oh yeah, our very first thing was Shiro going to the wrong room, which was funny. 
And she opens the door and says, you know, hello, the great Shiro's here. And then I'm just thinking, yeah, she's coming over to, to Kuroto's place, you know, that's cool. And then it showed uh, Koenji instead. I'm like, oh, wow, she came over to her place. Wow, are we already starting to get into the the shifting into her moving over there? And then, no, it was actually just a mistake on her part, which is funny. But definitely funny, especially because she now still thinks she's a hallucination. But she eventually makes her way back over there, sees him in bed and all that. Because he needs some time to rest once in a while. He obviously works a lot. That's kind of why he was given the privilege of an amazing Fox Girls, because of how much he how much he's, uh, works. But, uh, yeah, we decided to play some video games. And what does he have? Well, it seems like he has a lot of Fox, Fox-based video games, so... Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can find the spot where that where it shows those. Let's see, boy. Okay, we didn't start out with the fighting game. We started out with some sort of RPG, I think. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like Zelda. I'm not positive on that though. Here we go. Uh, I want to read these names. I didn't quite be able to before. As I first played that Zelda-like game, and then showed a bunch of other ones. There's Super Fluffy Brothers, <laughs> Star Fluff, obviously Star Fox. Super... no, it's just repeating those, uh... Yeah, and then eventually I think we established we would do, uh... Yeah, we would, we would do Super Fluff Bros Melee. <laughs> and it actually has the two girls on the cover are the ones that they actually ended up playing, so maybe maybe it's not that big of a, a cast, which would be weird, because the Smash Brothers games always have plenty of characters to play. Although Melee, I don't know if that had a lot. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played Super Smash Bros Melee. But, uh, you know. Anyway, that's that's the one she picked, because why not? And I did get a pretty big kick out of that. And of course, Shido sits on his lap because, you know, you can never have too much happiness, I guess. And then we played it. She just won a lot. We got some Ohage to eat, and she wanted to monopolize all of them. But he wanted the last one, so they just battled for the privilege of eating it, and she won again. Because she cheats, uses her fancy fox girl magic. But that's okay, since she's so cute as she eats the Ohagi. Just the way she moves her tail as she does it. Seriously, I could just watch her happily move her tail for hours. I don't think I'd get bored. I think it would be a fulfilling day if that's what it, what my day consisted of, just watching that. But yeah, Shido was just great. I just love her so much. I really want her in my life, but she's not real, so I can't do that. And that's the saddest thing about the show. I really like this part. I'd like... Uh, Around 8.26 in, my, in the episode, you just had Senko just like slowly crawl over like behind the two of them. Almost like a ninja or something or a cat. It was very cat-like actually, very cat-like. And then just after she just kind of slowly crawls over there and starts, you know, petting him. I really liked that. That was a really nice thing for her to do. It just, you know, would have been better if it was done to me. So yeah, that's when I found out she was a cheater. And then she just sits there shaking her tail more, saying that she wants to eat more, just... It's looking so cute. It's just, how could any existence be that cute? It's almost impossible. Even in anime, it still seems impossible, but they do it. They manage to do it just fine. So. And from there, he moved over to uh, Koenji's place, where Senko went over there to offer food or, or something and clean up her place, which it needed, it needed to be done because it was kind of a mess. Which is kind of stereotyp stereotypical for manga artists and anime, I think. They kind of neglect a lot of that kind of thing to focus on their manga. And they're not the only ones in anime with dirty rooms. I mean, Gabriel from Gabriel Dropout also, you know, does any sort of neat, or Hikikikomori also typically has kind of that sort of room, so... I'm not trying to pick on manga artists or anything. Uh, the point is that, yeah, the room was dirty, so Senko decided to, to clean that up, and it looked a lot better. And she still doesn't understand that Senko is a magical being, she still thinks she's a young girl cosplaying, although she also acknowledges that she said she was an adult, so, I mean, it's, I don't know how much she's rationalized this whole thing in her head, but she's okay with it, that's, that's the point. And once she started to think about the fact that Senko cosplays, she kind of thought, hey, I have other cosplay outfits, you know, maybe, maybe she would be putting, willing to put those on because she's willing to put this one on, so... And maybe I can give that a try. I actually happen to have a made outfit right here, so uh I wanna you wanna put it on, Senko? And then she's like, uh oh, no, I no, no thank you. I'm not really into cosplaying or it's just not a good thing to say because that's your whole story for why you look like a fox girl. It's like, oh it's totally cosplay, sure. 
you can't really say you're not into cosplay because that's very contradicting. So, but it, not that it matters. We eventually, we eventually wore her down because we were talking about how much you know Naruto would appreciate it and all that. The question of why she has a made outfit in her size was funny, but uh, it was that was a good excuse. Like, oh well, it was a reference for manga, so yeah, that's that's totally why I have this. So just put it on. You know, that dancer got the job done, and then we got to see what she looked like in it. And, yeah, incredible. Psycho, as uh, Koenji said. That that was, a, that was a good look on her. There were some pretty good shots taken there. Like, the very first shot, of like, the very first full body shot was great because it was from behind with a little bit of, just a little bit of tail sticking out at the bottom. And also holding the tray, so fully committed to the cosplay, which I appreciate. And you just have Koenji just bouncing all around, taking pictures. You know, very Wata 10 esque in a lot of ways. And then we got the first really good shot at uh, 1650 when she was like on her knees on the ground, you know, from a not like not a side, it's not really a side or a behind shot. It's it's more of a side shot than a behind shot, but she had to like look that way at the camera. Anyway, the point is she was sitting in a way like that with her tail. You can see a lot of that. It was just a really good shot there when she said like this. Probably my favorite shot, although there was plenty of good ones, of course. And she was just getting really into it. I don't blame her. That's probably the highlight of her day right there. And then she gets to keep the outfit and go home in it. Which, you know, luckily she lives pretty close by. Otherwise, she'd have to, she'd have to walk a long ways in a maid outfit with, with a maid outfit with, you know, fox ears and stuff. That would be something to see for, for the neighbors, for sure. And then this part was great. I just want to rewatch this part. <laughs> Senko is too cute. It's not fair. Not gonna know. Which, yeah, I totally get her. If she wasn't your wife, I would be all over her. I was imp I'm impressed I was able to control myself. I wish I could live with a cute little girl wife, too. I mean, she pretty much said everything that I've been thinking the entire show, so... That was a really good scene because of that. And then he was welcomed home in while she was wearing that outfit, and I think he was a big fan of that. He may have run away initially. But that's only because it was just like such a beam of amazingness shining straight after at him. After walking through the dark, our dark and it was just so blinding that he had to just... It's had to back up a little bit, but he liked it. He definitely liked it. He seems to be a bigger fan of normal clothes, and that's fine. Their normal clothes are fine as well. But, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of made outfits, so... I kind of prefer this, at least for a little bit. Obviously, once the newness of it wore off, I'd probably prefer to go back to a normal outfit. But for now, I'm just in the full line in the made outfit camp. So, that's kind of where I stand right now. He also had Sh uh, Shiro looking... <laughs> Looking at the TV at her, which was good as well. And then we had our Super uh, Super Senko-san time, which became Shiro time. Well, actually they were both there, but Shiro said it was like Shiro time. So that was great, because, I mean, like I said, I have made it no secret that Shiro is my favorite of the characters. So getting to do this POV segment with her, I loved it. I loved it. I loved that a lot. That was great. I could just, I need more of that in my life, like, right now. So that was great. You even got to see some back and forth between them and her being kind of jealous, wanting more praise from me. That, that was good. That was really good. I like that a lot. Like, you don't even know. Why can't these aims be longer? Why can't they be the whole show, honestly? Why can't this be the majority of the show and the rest of it be, like, the minute or two in segments? Why can't that be the case? Uh, I'll tell you why, because life isn't fair, which is the answer to a lot of questions I have in regards to this show. But anyway, yeah, really good episode. I love this show. It's time to wait for more. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.